Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you the upcoming Microsoft Windows 11 installation interface. So it looks like they are changing the way it looks uh, when you do a new installation of Windows. So if you have installed Windows 11 in the past, you probably realize that the beginning screens look exactly like Windows 10 with that purple color. So they're working on something a little more up to date. So we're going to show you how that looks. So right now I'm going to boot a different computer with the Windows Insider ISO file because that's how you could see this new interface. It's not available on the retail version yet. So let me get over to a new computer and we'll be right back. Okay, so the same Windows logo that you're used to seeing. So you can see the screen right out the bat is, is a little bit different. It doesn't have that purple color anymore. So you have the option to change your language and your time and currency format if needed. Let's click on next. Keyboard settings. Okay, now we have the option to install Windows 11 or repair my PC. So if you already have Windows installed, you could do the repair my PC option. But this is a clean installation, so I will not be able to do any repair. I'll just be able to do the installation. And you can see here, you can't click on next until you check this box here that says everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. So we're doing a clean installation here, not an upgrade. Okay, so you can either type in your key, and if you don't have a key, we have the same link here as we do before. All right, now we could pick our edition from the list like we normally can. We'll just go with Home. License Agreement. All right, so this screen looks similar to the one we're used to. Uh, it's a little updated. We have some other options here like bring disk online, extend partition, and so on. So you could create a partition from here and format it or delete any other partitions. But if you don't pick any of these options, you just click on next. It'll use all of the disk space that's shown here like we're used to seeing. So I'm going to do that. Okay, now we have our summary here. Install Windows 11 Home and keep nothing. Okay, we'll click on install. Now you can see this screen is different than what we're used to seeing. Okay, so we're doing our first reboot here. All right, another reboot. So as we're going along here, you'll see uh, which screens are different and which screens look new. So if you've installed Windows several times, they should be pretty obvious to you. All right, so this is the typical screen here. Let's just go through these and see what we have. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on Narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. Okay, so having that voice is new like we had in Windows 10. Okay, keyboard. Skip the keyboard. All right, so now we're checking for some updates. All right, so I'm just going to call this test since this is just a test computer. Okay, doing another reboot. All right, so we have the typical sign-in screen. Okay, the usual pen screen. All right, privacy settings, which I always turn off. It's up to you, of course. All 
All right, so here's where it wants to restore your settings from a different computer that you've logged into. But I'm just going to do this as a new PC. So this screen's a little different, getting things ready for you with the Windows background. All right, so now that we have the customization screen, looks similar, a little different maybe. Skip all this. We'll skip the Android configuration. So this screen here might be a little different because I don't remember having the option to skip the OneDrive setup during the installation. It's usually after you create a user account and you log in the first time, which, you know, this is actually great because otherwise it sets up OneDrive and starts syncing all your files and then you have to clean all that up if you don't want to use it. So we're going to choose the option only save files to this PC. Say not now to this, but this is up to you. Skip the game pass. Checking for updates again. All right, so we have the installation complete. There's actually some different backgrounds, as you could see in this uh, version here. So like I said, it's on the uh, Insider Preview Edition. And you can see this is build 26080, release 240308-1400. So once again, you know, most of the uh, newer screens are at the beginning, but it looks like there are a couple updated options as you go along. And of course, things might change as they fine tune it. So look forward to this in future releases of the retail version of Windows. So if you install Windows 11 a lot, uh, you might be seeing these updated screens soon. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.